How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 22 Five Ways to Cook Mullet Read for LibriVox.org by Laurie Ann Walden Broiled Mullet Soak the cleaned fish for an hour in salted and acidulated water. Drain, wipe dry, split, rub with seasoned butter, and broil. Broiled Mullets with Melted Butter Rub prepared mullets with seasoned flour and broil, basting with olive oil as required. Serve with melted butter and minced parsley. Mullet a la maitre d'hôtel Clean four mullets and soak in olive oil to cover for 30 minutes with a bunch of parsley, a sliced onion, and salt and pepper to season. Drain, broil, and serve with maitre d'hôtel sauce. Baked Mullet Clean the fish and soak for an hour in salted and acidulated water. Drain, wipe dry, stuff with seasoned crumbs, sew up, rub with butter and put into a baking pan, adding enough hot water to keep from burning. Baste as required and serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Mullet Cut the cleaned fish in convenient pieces for serving and saute in pork fat or dip in egg and seasoned crumbs and fry in deep fat. End of section 22. This recording is in the public domain. Recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit librivox.org. Recording by Al Hunt, Alberta, Canada, January 2007. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green Section 23, 15 Ways to Cook Perch Fried Perch 1. Clean the fish, dip in flour, then in beaten egg, then in crumbs, and fry in plenty of fat. Drain and garnish with lemon and parsley. Fried Perch 2. Dip the clean perch in flour and fry brown in salt pork fat. Fried perch 3. Prepare and clean the fish, season with salt and pepper, dip in egg and cornmeal, and fry in deep fat. Broiled perch. Rub the prepared fish with butter, season with salt and pepper, and broil. Garnish with fried parsley and lemon. Boiled perch. Boil the cleaned fish with parsley a tablespoonful of butter and salt and pepper to season. Drain, strain the liquid, thicken with butter and flour, season to taste, pour over the fish and serve. Boiled perch with oyster sauce. Prepare and clean the fish and simmer until done in salted and acidulated water. Drain and serve with oyster sauce. Perch a la Lamande. Put two large clean perch into a saucepan with two chopped carrots, a sprig of parsley, a celery root, a sliced onion, and a pinch of salt. Cover with white wine and simmer for 20 minutes. Drain and keep warm. Take out the onion, parsley, and celery root, add half a cupful of chopped mushrooms, and cook for 5 minutes. Cook with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour thickened together. Take from the fire. Add a tablespoonful of butter and the juice of two lemons. Pour over the fish and serve. Stewed Perch a la Batelière Put four pounds of clean perch into a saucepan with salt and pepper to season, two sliced onions, a bunch of parsley, and claret and water in equal parts to cover. Simmer for half an hour, drain, remove the parsley, and thicken the sauce with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together. Add a tablespoonful of anchovy essence, the juice of half a lemon, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Perch a la Francaise Boil the perch in white wine, and when cooked, skin and arrange on a serving dish. Pour over a cream sauce, to which has been added chopped cooked carrots and mushrooms, and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Add also to the sauce a tablespoonful of butter and grated nutmeg, and lemon juice to season. Perch a la maitre de hotel. Prepare according to directions given for mallet a la maitre de hotel. 
perch a la Normandie. Prepare and clean the fish and put into a stew pan with a chopped onion, a bunch of parsley, a pinch of salt, and enough white wine to cover. Simmer for 15 minutes. Take up the fish and strain the liquid. Add one cupful of oyster liquor and boil the liquid until reduced half. Take from the fire, add one tablespoonful of butter and two of flour, cook together, stir until smooth, return to the fire, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire and add slowly the yolks of three eggs well beaten. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Perch a la Sicily Cook three or four large perch for 20 minutes with a bunch of parsley in salted and acidulated water. Put into a saucepan one tablespoonful of malt vinegar, one tablespoonful of tarragon vinegar, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, a small chopped onion, a bay leaf, and four peppercorns. Boil for 10 minutes, strain and cool. Cook together four tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour. When brown, add a pint of beef stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add the strained vinegar, the beaten yolks of six eggs, and two tablespoonfuls of grated horseradish. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Perch a la Stanley. Clean four large perch, put into a saucepan with a tablespoonful of butter and a small bunch of parsley, a pint of Rhine wine, a pint of white stock, and salt and pepper to season. Simmer slowly until done, drain and keep warm. Thicken the sauce with two tablespoons each of butter and flour cooked together, take from the fire, add the yolks of four eggs beaten with the juice of a lemon and three tablespoonfuls of butter. Bring to the boil, add a dozen parboiled oysters, pour over the fish and serve. Baked Perch Prepare and clean the fish. Stuff with seasoned crumbs and stew up. Bake with a little white wine and melted butter. Perch Salad Clean and boil the fish, drain and cool. Serve very cold on lettuce with mayonnaise. End of section 23section 24 of how to cook fish this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer visit librivox.org how to cook fish by olive green section 24 10 ways to cook pickerel boiled pickerel a la maitre d'hotel Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Dip in seasoned oil, broil and serve with maitre d'hotel sauce. Fried Pickerel 1. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Dip in beaten egg and cracker dust and fry in deep fat. Fried Pickerel 2. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into steaks. Dip in cornmeal and fry in hot fat. Add one cupful of cream to the fat remaining in the pan and thicken with one tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Season with salt and pepper. Add a tablespoonful of minced parsley, pour over the fish, and serve. Fried pickerel with tomato sauce. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into pieces of a suitable size for serving. Dip in milk, roll in flour, and fry brown in plenty of hot lard. Drain and serve with tomato sauce. Fried Pickerel a la Creme Clean the fish and cut into pieces suitable for serving. Roll in flour and fry diced salt pork crisp. Strain the fat. Fry the fish in it, take up and keep warm. Add a tablespoonful of butter and a tablespoonful of flour to the fat remaining in the pan. When cooked, add enough cream to make the required quantity of sauce and a pinch of soda. Cook until thick, stirring constantly, 
add the salt pork fat, and pour over the fish. BAKED PICKEREL ONE Lay the clean fish in a baking pan, spread with butter, season with salt and pepper, and sprinkle with flour. Bake as usual, basting with a cupful of hot water, to which has been added a tablespoonful of butter, and the juice of half a lemon. Serve with any preferred sauce. BAKED PICKEREL two. Clean the fish, remove the backbone, and soak for an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice. Cover the bottom of a baking dish with thin slices of salt pork. Lay the fish upon the pork, rub the fish with butter, cover and bake for forty minutes. Serve with hollandaise or tartar sauce. BAKED PICKEREL WITH OYSTER SAUCE Lay the fish in a buttered baking pan, spread with butter, season with salt and pepper, and dredge with flour. Bake in a hot oven, basting with a cupful of hot water, to which a teaspoonful of butter and the juice of a lemon have been added. Serve with oyster sauce. Baked pickerel with egg sauce. Put the prepared fish in a buttered baking pan, and bake slowly, basting with melted butter and hot water. Serve with egg sauce. STUFFED PICKEREL Prepare, clean, and split the fish. Remove the backbone and stuff with crumbs. Season with salt, pepper, sweet herbs, and melted butter. Mix with a beaten egg, stuff the fish, sew up, and bake, basting with melted butter as required. PICKEREL A LA BABETTE Butter a kettle, and cover the bottom with sliced celery and onion. Lay the prepared and cleaned fish upon it. Add a bunch of parsley and a tablespoonful of butter. Season with salt and white pepper. Add a dozen peppercorns, a sliced lemon, a dozen pounded almonds, and cold water to cover. Simmer slowly until done. Take up the fish Beat the yolks of three eggs with a tablespoonful of cold water. Take out the parsley. Thicken the sauce. Pour over the fish. Sprinkle with parsley and serve. End of section 24 Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California For LibriVox Spring 2007
Boil the fish with a bunch of parsley and salted and acidulated water to cover. Serve with melted butter, seasoned with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, and lemon juice. Boiled Pike with Caper Sauce Prepare and clean a fish, put into a fish kettle, and simmer for forty minutes in court bouillon to cover. Serve with caper sauce. Boiled Pike with Horseradish Sauce Boil a large fish in salted and acidulated water with a bunch of parsley. Cook together two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour, add three cupfuls of cream, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt and pepper, add two tablespoonfuls of butter, and three tablespoonfuls of freshly grated horseradish. Pour over the fish and serve. Boiled Pike with Egg Sauce Put the cleaned fish into a fish kettle, and cover with cold water. Add half a cupful of vinegar, a teaspoonful each of cloves and peppercorns, a bay leaf, half a lemon, sliced, and a tablespoonful of salt. Boil until the fins pull off easily. Take up and skin the fish carefully. Pour over an egg sauce, made with a portion of the liquid, in which the fish was cooked. Boiled Pike à la Dubois Prepare and clean the fish and cook it in equal parts of white wine and water, adding minced carrots and celery, sweet herbs and parsley, half a dozen peppercorns, and salt to season. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour, add two cupfuls of the liquid, and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. Baked Pike 1. Clean a four-pound pike and put into a buttered baking pan with enough hot water to keep from burning. Score the upper side deeply. Cover with chopped salt pork, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and dredge with flour. Bake for half an hour, basting as required. Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Pike 2 Put the cleaned fish into a buttered baking dish with two onions sliced, two bay leaves, pepper and salt to season, and one cupful of sour cream. Rub the fish with butter, Sprinkle thickly with bread crumbs and grated Parmesan cheese, and bake until brown. Pour the liquid remaining in the pan around the fish, and serve. Baked Pike à la Française Marinate the prepared fish for two hours in oil and lemon juice, seasoning with salt, pepper, chopped onion, and minced parsley. Put into the oven, in the marinade, adding one cupful of stock and a wine glassful of white wine. Bake slowly, basting as required. Take up the fish, strain the sauce, thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together, season with anchovy essence, add two tablespoonfuls of butter and two tablespoonfuls of caper. Pour over the fish and serve. Stuffed and Baked Pike Clean and draw the fish, stuff with seasoned crumbs, sew up and put into a buttered baking dish in the form of a circle. Score the fish deeply. Sprinkle with pepper and salt, minced parsley, chopped onion, and chopped mushrooms. Add a cupful of sherry and a cupful of beef stock, cover, and bake, basting frequently with the liquid. Take up the fish carefully, and add to the liquid enough stock to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with two tablespoonfuls of flour, cooked brown in butter, 
Add two tablespoonfuls of butter, lemon juice and red pepper, and anchovy essence to season. Pour over the fish and serve. Pike baked in sour cream. Clean a four-pound pike, cut into steaks, and free from skin and bone. Put into a buttered baking dish with two small onions, chopped, and two bay leaves. Season with salt and cayenne, add one cupful of sour cream, and bake. Put on a serving dish, cover with crumbs and dots of butter, and brown in the oven. Add enough stock to the liquid to make the required quantity of sauce, thicken with butter and flour, season, add a dash of lemon juice, pour around the fish, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Pike Salad Flake cold cooked pike with a silver fork. Mix with mayonnaise and chopped capers, and serve very cold on lettuce leaves. Roasted Pike Prepare a large fish, stuff with seasoned crumbs, and sew up. Spread with butter, sprinkle with chopped onion, minced parsley, minced pickle, and pounded anchovies. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Put in a buttered baking dish, and bake slowly for an hour, basting with melted butter as required. Add half a cupful of white wine and one cupful of white stock to the drippings. Thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour, cooked together. Take from the fire, add two tablespoonfuls of butter and the yolks of three eggs, beaten with the juice of a lemon. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Pike a l'allemande. Prepare according to directions given for carp a l'allemande. Crimp piked a la hollandaise. Prepare and clean the fish and cut into steaks. Soak in ice water for two hours. Boil until tender in salted and acidulated water to cover, and serve with hollandaise sauce. Pike a la Francaise Cut a cleaned and prepared pike into thick steaks, and marinate for two hours in oil and lemon juice, seasoned with salt, pepper, minced onion, and parsley and a pinch of sweet herbs. Drain, dip in crumbs, and broil. Serve with any preferred sauce. Pike a la Normandie Clean and draw a large fish, and tie in a circle. Put into a fish kettle with sliced onion, a bay leaf, a pinch of thyme, a sprig of parsley, and salt and pepper to season. Add two cupfuls each of white wine and white stock, and enough water to cover. Add a tablespoonful of butter, cover and simmer for forty minutes. Take the fish, strain the sauce, and thicken with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire, add the yolks of four eggs beaten with the juice of a lemon, and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Strain over the fish, and serve. Pickled Pike Draw and clean a pike, put into a fish kettle, cover with claret, add three bay leaves, and simmer until tender. Let cool in the liquor. Serve with French dressing, mayonnaise, or tartar sauce. End of section 25. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox. Spring 2007.
This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Robin Cotter, Toronto, Ontario, March 2007. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 26 Ten Ways to Cook Pompano. Broiled Pompano 1. Clean and split the fish, sprinkle with salt and pepper, rub with butter, and broil. Squeeze lemon juice over it, and serve. Broiled Pompano 2. Split the fish, remove the backbone, season with salt and pepper, and put on a tin sheet. Rub with butter, and broil under the gas flame. Broiled Pompano 3. Clean and split the fish, rub with oil, sprinkle with salt and pepper, roll in crumbs, and broil. Broiled Pompano a la maitre d'hôtel. Clean and split the fish, rub with salt, pepper, and olive oil, and broil. Serve with maitre d'hôtel sauce. Fried Pompano 1. Cut the cleaned fish into slices, dredge with flour, and fry brown in butter. Serve with any preferred sauce. Fried Pompano 2. Cut the cleaned fish into strips, season with salt, pepper, and nutmeg, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in fat to cover. Fillets of Pompano Cut a prepared and cleaned Pompano into strips. Marinate for an hour in oil and vinegar, seasoned with salt and pepper. Drain, dip in crumbs, then in egg, then in crumbs, and put in a buttered paper, and bake until done. Serve with tomato sauce. Fillets of Pompano a la Duchess Cut a cleaned Pompano into strips, sprinkle with salt, pepper, and onion juice, and put into a small baking pan. Steam until done. Take up carefully, and spread each one with seasoned mashed potato mixed with well-beaten egg. Bake in the oven until puffed and brown, and serve immediately. Fillets of Pompano au Gratin Split the fish in two lengthwise, and remove the bone and skin. Cut into strips. Season with salt, pepper, and butter. Roll up, and tie or fasten with toothpicks or skewers. Simmer slowly until done in equal parts of white wine and water, adding a little maitre d'hôtel sauce. Pompano a la Cardinal Butter a baking dish and lay upon it a large, cleaned, and split pompano. Open a can of sweet Spanish peppers, drain, and cover the fish with them. Sprinkle with chopped onion, minced parsley, chopped mushrooms, crumbs, and dots of butter. Add one cupful of stock and a wine glassful of port wine. Bake for twenty minutes, basting as required. Take up carefully, and served with fried sweet potatoes. End of chapter 26recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by matthew walton how to cook fish by olive green section 27 13 ways to cook red snapper fried red snapper clean the fish skin and remove the backbone Slice lengthwise in long thin strips, roll up and fasten with a toothpick or skewer. Dip in egg, then in cracker dust, and fry in deep fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Boiled Red Snapper 1 Clean and draw the fish and boil slowly in salted and acidulated water to cover. Drain and serve with any preferred sauce. Boiled Red Snapper 2 Clean a red snapper, sew it up in mosquito netting, and boil it in salted and acidulated water. Drain carefully, unwrap, and serve with tomato sauce. 
Baked Red Snapper, 1. Prepare and clean the fish. Stuff with seasoned crumbs and chopped oysters. Put on a buttered tin sheet and lay into a baking pan. Sprinkle with salt, pepper and flour and bake for an hour, basting with melted butter and hot water as required. Serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Red Snapper 2. Clean and season the fish, rub with vinegar and put into a baking pan. Dot with butter, sprinkle with parsley and bake, basting with melted butter and hot water as required. Serve with tomato sauce. Baked Red Snapper 3. Clean the fish, leaving the head on, and stuff with seasoned crumbs. Cover with sliced tomatoes and sliced lemon, and bake, basting occasionally with melted butter and hot water. Baked Red Snapper with Tomato Sauce Season four pounds of prepared and cleaned red snapper with salt and pepper. Cover with thin slices of bacon, dredge with flour, and put into a buttered baking pan with two cupfuls of boiling water. Bake slowly. While it is baking, fry brown two slices of chopped bacon. Add a chopped onion, a pepper pod, a can of tomatoes, and salt and black pepper to taste. Cook until it thickens, pour over the fish, and finish baking. Take up carefully. Baked Red Snapper a la Creole Clean, split and bone a large red snapper. Lay it together again, sprinkle with salt and pepper and put into a buttered baking pan. Fry in butter a chopped onion, half a dozen sliced mushrooms, two fresh tomatoes and one green pepper chopped. Add a cupful of stock, spread over the fish and bake for 20 minutes, basting with melted butter and hot water as required. Take up carefully, sprinkle with minced parsley and serve. Stuffed Red Snapper Make a stuffing of one cupful of chopped oysters, half a cupful of cracker crumbs, one egg well beaten, a teaspoonful of chopped onion, a tablespoonful of butter, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and salt, pepper and paprika to season. Add cream or oyster liquor to make soft, fill the fish and sew up. Put a layer of salt pork, sliced tomato and sliced onion into a baking pan. Lay the fish upon it, cover with chopped salt pork, sprinkle with salt, pepper and flour, add two cupfuls of stock and bake for an hour, basting as required. Take up the fish carefully, rub the tomatoes and liquid through a puree sieve, thicken with butter and flour cooked together, pour around the fish and serve. Stuffed Red Snapper a la Creole Cook together a can of tomatoes, six chopped onions, a cupful of dry breadcrumbs, a tablespoonful of Worcestershire sauce, three tablespoonfuls of butter, and salt, red and black pepper to season. Stuff the prepared and cleaned red snapper with the mixture, sew up, spread with the remaining dressing, dot with butter and bake for an hour. Take up carefully. Steamed Red Snapper Lay a cleaned red snapper in a steamer on a bed of sliced tomatoes and chopped onion. Steam slowly for an hour or more, turning once. Serve with oyster or tartar sauce. Red Snapper a la Babette Clean the fish and rub with salt and pepper inside and out. Boil in salted water to which has been added a small bunch of parsley, a celery root, two sliced onions, a chopped carrot, and a blade of mace. When done, take up, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Strain the liquid, thicken with butter and flour cooked together, pour around the fish, and serve. Red Snapper a la Beaufort Put the prepared and cleaned fish into a fish kettle with a pint each of white wine, white stock and water, adding salt and sweet herbs to season, and half a cupful of mixed vegetables cut fine. Simmer for an hour, drain, skin and put on a serving dish. Strain the liquid, thicken with two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour cooked together, add a teaspoonful of beef extract, 
salt and cayenne pepper to season. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of four eggs, beaten with the juice of a lemon and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Pour over the fish and serve. End of section 27《Recording》All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org at www.librivox.org. Recording by Mary, aka Breadchick, www.breadchick.com. How to cook fish by olive green. Section 28. 130 ways to cook salmon broiled salmon recipe one marinate slices of salmon in olive oil and salt and pepper minced parsley bay leaves and mixed herbs to season soak in the marinade for an hour or more and broil basting with the marinade serve with caper sauce broiled salmon recipe two take a young fish weighing from four to six pounds clean split remove the backbone and broil sprinkle with lemon juice and red pepper broiled salmon recipe three take three pounds of the tail part of the salmon let it stand for six hours in a marinade of oil and lemon juice with minced parsley two bay leaves and a sprig of thyme drain and broil serve with maitre d'hotel sauce to which a teaspoonful of chopped chives have been added salmon broiled in paper Season salmon steaks with pepper and salt. Wrap in buttered paper, twisting the ends, broil, and serve with anchovy or caper sauce. Broiled Salmon Steaks Recipe 1 Season with pepper and salt. Broil carefully on a buttered gridiron. Pour over melted butter. Garnish with parsley and serve. Broiled Salmon Steaks Recipe 2 Sprinkle with pepper and salt. Dredge with flour and broil basting with melted butter as required. Spread with melted butter or with maitre d'hotel sauce. Broiled Salmon Steaks Recipe 3 Marinate the steaks for an hour in oil and lemon juice, seasoning with salt and pepper. Broil carefully and serve with any preferred sauce. Broiled Salmon's a la Go. Marinate salmon steaks in seasoned oil and lemon juice and broil quickly. Serve with Ravigo sauce. Salmon Cutlets in Papillots Butter large sheets of white paper, sprinkle with crumbs, and fold tightly over small cutlets of salmon. Broil carefully over a slow fire. Serve in the papers. Salmon Cutlets with Caper Sauce Marinate for two hours slices of salmon in oil with minced parsley and onion. Dip large pieces of paper in oil and wrap carefully around each slice, fastening firmly. Broil carefully and serve with cream sauce to which capers have been added. Salmon Steaks with Parsley Sauce Season salmon steaks, dip in melted butter, then in cornmeal, and broil. Cook together two tablespoons full each of butter and flour. Add two cupfuls of cold water and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, season with salt and pepper, add the juice of half a lemon, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and pour over the fish. Boiled Salmon Recipe 1 Wash and wipe a small salmon. Wrap in a cloth, tie securely, and put into the fish kettle. Cover with cold water, add a handful of salt, and boil slowly until done. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add two cupfuls of boiling cream and a tablespoonful of the water in which the fish is cooked. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt and minced parsley, pour over the fish, and serve. Boiled Salmon Recipe 2 Chop together a carrot, an onion, a stalk of celery. Fry in butter. Add half a cupful of vinegar, four cloves, four peppercorns, a bay leaf, a sprig of parsley, and six cupfuls of boiling water. Boil for an hour, strain, cool, and boil the salmon in it. Serve with any preferred sauce. Boiled Salmon with Egg Sauce Tie a large chunk of salmon in mosquito netting and simmer until done in salted and acidulated water. Drain, skin, and if possible remove the bone. Serve with drawn butter sauce to which chopped hard-boiled eggs have been added. Boiled Salmon with Green Sauce 
boil a small salmon in salted and acidulated water take up carefully and reduce the liquid by rapid boiling to two cupfuls cook together two tablespoonsful each of butter and flour add the reduced liquid and cook until thick stirring constantly take from the fire add two tablespoonsful of chopped capers one tablespoonful of chopped parsley the juice of a lemon and one tablespoonful of butter pour over the fish and serve boiled salmon steaks recipe one wrap each steak separately in mosquito netting put into boiling water to which has been added a slice of onion a bay leaf a blade of mace four tablespoonsful of tarragon vinegar and a teaspoonful of salt simmer for twenty minutes remove carefully drain serve with any preferred sauce boiled salmon steaks recipe two boil the steaks slowly in salted and acidulated water to cover or in court bouillon seasoned with wine serve with hollandaise sauce boiled salmon steaks recipe three Cook the steaks in water to cover, and add a celery root, a small bunch of parsley, salt and pepper to season, and a tablespoonful of vinegar. Strain the liquid, thicken with a tablespoon each of butter and flour cooked together, pour over the fish, and serve. Boiled Salmon a la Piquant Boil slices of salmon in court bouillon seasoned with wine. Drain, garnish with parsley, and serve with piquant sauce. Boiled Salmon a la Waldorf Boil a large piece of salmon in salted and acidulated water, seasoned with herbs and spice. Drain and keep warm. Add two cupfuls of the liquid in which the fish was cooked, one wine glassful of white wine, and two anchovies rubbed to a paste. Boil for fifteen minutes, then add in small bits a tablespoonful of butter. Serve the sauce separately. Salmon with oyster sauce. Boil two pounds of fresh salmon in salted and acidulated water to cover, with a chopped onion, two cloves, eight peppercorns, and a small bunch of parsley. Drain and serve with oyster sauce. Salmon Cutlets with Oyster Sauce Boil large slices of salmon in salted water until done. Fry a small onion, chopped in oil, add four dozen oysters, cut small, two tablespoons full of flour, the liquor drained from the oysters, two teaspoons full of sugar, and pepper and salt and anchovy essence to season. When thick, take from the fire, add the beaten yolks of four eggs, and reheat, but do not boil. Pour the sauce into a platter and cool. Lay the slices of salmon on the sauce, brush with egg, sprinkle with crumbs, and brown in the oven. Salmon a la Supreme Boil a salmon in court bouillon with wine. Drain, cool, skin, and serve with tartar sauce. Mayonnaise of salmon. Cook fresh salmon in a court bouillon. Drain, cool, skin, and serve with mayonnaise. Salmon pudding. Flake the fish. Add half the quantity of bread crumbs, a tablespoonful of melted butter, a teaspoonful of onion juice, and pepper and salt to season. Beat two eggs light with two tablespoonsful of cream. Mix with the fish. Put into a buttered mold and boil for an hour and a half. Serve with a cream sauce seasoned with lemon juice and anchovy paste. Baked Salmon Recipe 1 Put four salmon steaks into a buttered saucepan with two cupfuls each of white wine and white stock. Season with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, minced parsley, and a pinch of allspice. Add a heaping teaspoonful of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of four eggs well beaten and a little minced parsley. Arrange a mound of seasoned mashed potatoes in a deep platter. Take the skin from the steaks and arrange them around it. Pour the sauce over, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Baked Salmon Recipe 2 Wash and wipe a small fish. Rub with pepper and salt, sprinkle with paprika and powdered mace. Bake carefully, basting with melted butter and its own dripping. Take up the fish carefully and add to the gravy enough stock or water to make the required quantity of sauce. Thicken with butter and flour cooked together, season with tomato ketchup and lemon juice. Pour around the fish and serve. Baked Salmon Recipe 3 Rub a small cleaned salmon with olive oil. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Put into a buttered baking pan and add one cup full of boiling water and two tablespoons full of butter. Baste every ten minutes until done. Take up the fish and keep it warm. Thicken the gravy with a teaspoonful or more of cornstarch mixed with a little cold water. Season with grated onion, lemon juice, and tomato ketchup. Baked Salmon with Cream Sauce Wrap a large middle cut of salmon in buttered paper and fasten firmly. 
Bake in a buttered baking pan, basting with butter melted in hot water. Take from the oven at the end of an hour. Remove the paper carefully and keep warm. Bring to the boil one cupful of cream and add one tablespoonful of cornstarch rubbed smooth with a little cold cream. Add one tablespoonful each of butter and minced parsley, and pepper and salt to season. Pour the sauce over the fish or serve separately. Salmon Baked in Paper Season a large piece of salmon with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Wrap in a large piece of buttered paper and pin firmly. Put into a buttered baking pan, cover, and bake for an hour, basting frequently with hot water and melted butter. Take off the paper and serve with any preferred sauce. Baked Salmon Steaks Put the steaks in a buttered baking dish. Lay bits of butter upon them, seasoning with salt, pepper, minced parsley, and grated onion. Bake carefully, basting as required and serve with caper or tomato sauce. Baked Salmon Cutlets Put salmon steaks into a buttered baking pan with half a cupful of hot water and half a cupful of white wine. Sprinkle with salt, paprika, and grated nutmeg. Cover with raw oysters and crumbs fried in butter. Bake for 20 minutes. Take up the fish carefully. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add the liquor from the pan and a teaspoonful of anchovy paste. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Pour around the fish and serve. Salmon a la Windsor Season salmon steaks with salt and pepper. Dip in egg and crumbs, put into a buttered baking pan, and bake quickly. Serve with any preferred sauce. Stuffed salmon Clean, bone, and parboil a small salmon. Rub the inside with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Stuff with chopped oysters, minced parsley, and seasoned crumbs. Fold together, put into a buttered baking dish, and bake for half an hour basting with its own dripping. Salmon Steaks a la Flamande Sprinkle a buttered dripping pan with chopped onion and season with pepper and salt. Lay salmon steaks on top, brush with the yolk of a beaten egg, cover with a layer of chopped onion and parsley, season with salt, red pepper, lemon juice, and dots of butter, and bake for half an hour. Salmon and Papillots Use six small salmon steaks. Season with salt and pepper, Butter sheets of white paper a little larger than the steaks and lay on each one a thin slice of lean boiled ham. Cook together in butter a chopped onion, a handful of chopped mushrooms, a minced bean of garlic, and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Spread a thin layer on the ham. Lay a slice of salmon upon it. Spread with the cooked vegetables. Cover with another slice of ham. Put another piece of oiled paper over and fold carefully at the edges. Bake in a moderate oven for 15 or 20 minutes and serve in the papers. Fillets of Salmon and Papillots Cut salmon steaks into fillets, dip into melted butter and lemon juice, fold in buttered paper, and bake for half an hour in a slow oven. Serve in the papers and pass hollandaise sauce. Salmon Cutlets and Papillots Cut slices of salmon into cutlets. Beat together three tablespoons full of olive oil, the yolk of an egg, a teaspoonful of minced onion, and a tablespoonful of chopped parsley. Sprinkle the fish with salt and pepper, spread the mixture over, fold each piece in a buttered paper, fastening securely, and bake for half an hour. Serve in the papers. Fried Salmon Recipe 1 Cut slices of salmon into small pieces and put into a saucepan with pepper, salt, minced parsley, and lemon juice to season. Add sufficient butter and fry carefully. Serve with ravigo or any preferred sauce. Fried Salmon Recipe 2 Wrap slices of salmon in oiled paper, fastening firmly, and fry in deep fat. Drain carefully and serve in the paper. Fried Salmon Recipe 3 Sprinkle salmon steaks with salt and flour. Brush with the beaten yolk of an egg and fry in hot olive oil. Drain, garnish with fried parsley, and serve. Fried Salmon Steaks Dredge the steaks with seasoned flour or dip into egg and seasoned crumbs and fry. Fried Salmon Cutlets Recipe 1 Steam the salmon steaks, cool, cut into fillets, dip in egg and crumbs, fry in deep fat, and serve with tartar or hollandaise sauce. Fried Salmon Cutlets Recipe 2 Prepare very thick cream sauce and mix with it cold cooked salmon cut fine. Season with red pepper, salt, and lemon juice and let cool. Shape into cutlets, dip into beaten egg, then in crumbs and fry in deep fat. Fried Salmon Cutlets Recipe 3 Rub cold boiled salmon smooth with one-third the quantity of mashed potatoes. Season with salt, pepper, and pounded mace. Shape into cutlets, dip in egg, 
and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Salmon Cutlets a la Anglais Cut slices of salmon in the shape of cutlets. Season with salt and pepper and fry in butter. Drain and serve with ravigot sauce. Salmon a la Lyons Fry slices of salmon and butter with pepper and salt to season. Serve with a hollandaise sauce to which cooked oysters, cooked shrimps, and minced parsley have been added. Salmon Cutlets with Milanese Sauce Cut slices of salmon into small pieces. Dip into white wine and wrap in buttered paper, fastening securely. Fry carefully in butter. Remove the papers, garnish with parsley, and serve with Milanese sauce. Fillets of Salmon a la Orly Cut fresh salmon into small pieces. Remove the skin and marinate for an hour in lemon juice seasoned with salt and pepper. Drain, dip in egg and crumbs, fry in deep fat, and serve with tomato sauce. Salmon a la Monde Put a large middle cut of salmon into a saucepan with a sliced carrot, a large onion, a bunch of parsley, salt and pepper to season, half a cupful of butter, two cupfuls of claret, and enough stock to cover. Cover with buttered paper and cook slowly for an hour. Take up the fish carefully and keep warm. Strain the liquid, skim the fat, and thicken with butter and flour cooked together until brown. Add a tablespoonful of butter seasoned with lemon juice and anchovy essence. Pour over the fish and serve. Salmon a la Admiral Fry in butter two chopped onions, two parsley roots, a bunch of chopped parsley, and a sprig of thyme, a broken bay leaf, a clove, and three small chopped carrots. Add one cupful of white wine. Put a small clean salmon into a buttered baking dish. Spread the vegetables over, cover, and cook until tender, basting with the drippings or with hot water if needed. Take out the fish, strain the liquid, Add to it a cupful of cream and thicken with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Pour it around the fish and garnish with lemon and parsley. Salmon a la Bordeaux Clean a small salmon, stuff with seasoned crumbs and oysters, and put into a fish kettle with two tablespoons full of butter, two onions sliced, a bunch of parsley, and salt and pepper and grated nutmeg to season. Add two cupfuls each of stock, water, and white wine. Cover the fish with buttered paper and simmer for an hour. Drain the fish and keep warm. Prepare a sauce according to directions given in the recipe for salmon a la Genoese, using the liquid strained from the fish. Salmon a la Candice Put a large cut of salmon on the drainer in a fish kettle and cover it with a small slice of raw ham. Add two cupfuls of Rhine wine a quart of stock, and a bunch of parsley. Cover with buttered paper, simmer for an hour, drain and remove the skin. Strain the liquid, thicken with flour cooked brown and butter, add a tablespoonful of butter, cayenne, and lemon juice to season. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Salmon a la Chambord Put a large middle cut of salmon into a saucepan with sliced carrots and onions. A bunch of parsley, two tablespoons full of butter, and two cupfuls each of white wine and white stock. Season with salt and peppercorns. Cover and simmer slowly for an hour. Take up the fish carefully and keep warm. Strain the liquid and thicken with flour cooked brown and butter. Add half a cupful of stewed and strained tomatoes, the juice of a lemon, two tablespoons full of butter, and a teaspoonful of anchovy essence. Pour over the fish and serve. Salmon a la Spagnole Cut fresh salmon in small pieces suitable for serving and fry in butter. Drain and keep warm. Add two tablespoons full of flour to the butter in which the fish is cooked and brown. Add two cupfuls of stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add a tablespoonful of butter, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve. Salmon a la Genoa. Boil a small fresh salmon in salted and acidulated water to cover. Drain and skin. Arrange on a serving dish and keep warm. Chop fine a small slice of ham, a slice of carrot, a small stalk of celery, an onion, a parsley root, and three or four shallots. Add a sprig of thyme, a bay leaf, a blade of mace, and two cloves. Fry in butter. Add two tablespoons full of flour and cook until brown. Add two cupfuls of claret and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add half a cupful of beef stock. Bring to the boil and strain through a sieve. Reheat, add a tablespoonful of butter and minced parsley, lemon juice, grated nutmeg, and anchovy essence to season. Pour around the fish and serve. 
Salmon à l'Italienne. Flake cold salmon fine with a silver fork, and mix with an equal quantity of cold-cooked spaghetti cut fine. Reheat in a cream sauce, add a few capers, and serve very hot. Steaks à la marinière. Marinate salmon steaks in seasoned oil, drain, and broil. Cover with small boiled onions and cooked oysters. Pour over a sauce made according to the directions given in the recipe for salmon à la Genoa, and serve. Salmon à la Marseille. Boil a small salmon in salted and acidulated water. Skin and put on a serving dish. Spread over it some very thick cream sauce. Sprinkle with crumbs. Brush with a beaten egg. Cover with crumbs again. Sprinkle with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg, and brown in the oven. Serve with a sauce made of equal parts of white wine and stock, thickened with butter and flour cooked together. Salmon à la Maryland. Prepare and clean a small salmon and simmer in salted water until done. Prepare a drawn butter sauce and add it to a cupful of butter. When the butter is melted, take from the fire and add quickly two eggs beaten and the juice of half a lemon. Pour the sauce over the fish and serve. Salmon à la Naples. Fry salmon steak in butter, seasoning with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. When half cooked, add a half a cupful of white wine to the butter. Cover and simmer slowly until done. Cover the salmon with cooked oysters, pour the liquid remaining in the pan over the fish, and serve. Salmon à la Provence. Season four salmon steaks and cook with a tablespoonful of butter and the juice of a lemon. Add a dozen oysters, half a dozen small shrimps, and one cupful of white stock thickened with flour and butter cooked together. Simmer until the oysters are cooked. Take from the fire, add the yolk of an egg, beaten smooth with a tablespoonful of sherry, and serve with triangles of fried bread. Salmon à la Provencial Put a large cut of salmon into a saucepan and cover with salted and acidulated water. Add a sliced onion, a carrot, a bunch of parsley, and salt, pepper, sweet herbs, and a pinch of allspice to season. Cover the fish with buttered paper and cook slowly for an hour. Chop together a small onion, a clove of garlic, and a few sprigs of parsley. Fry in olive oil, add two tablespoons full of butter, and cook until the flour is brown. Add two cupfuls of brown stock and one cupful of stewed and strained tomato. Cook until thick, stirring constantly, seasoning with red and white pepper and lemon juice. Remove the skin from the fish, pour the hot sauce over it, and serve. Fillets of Salmon à la Venetian Put salmon steaks into a buttered baking dish with fine match-like strips of larding pork laid on each side. Season with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Add one cupful of white wine and cover with a sheet of buttered paper, having a small hole in the center. Bake for 40 minutes, basting often. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add one cupful of stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a tablespoonful each of butter and lemon juice and a teaspoonful of minced parsley. Pour around the fish and serve. Salmon à la Waldorf. Marinate salmon steaks for an hour in lemon juice. Cover with stock, add paper, salt, minced parsley to season, and simmer slowly until done. Drain, thicken the sauce, add a tablespoonful of butter, and serve separately. Salmon mousse. Rub half a pound of raw salmon to a smooth paste with water, adding gradually a dozen chopped raw oysters, half a cupful of tomato sauce, and the yolks of three eggs. When smooth, fold in the stiffly beaten whites, season with salt, pepper, and press through a puree sieve into small buttered molds. Put into a baking pan, surround with hot water, and bake for 15 or 20 minutes in a moderate oven. Unmold and serve with any preferred sauce. Salmon mousse a la Martineau. Pound to a pulp with a little water half a pound of raw salmon and add the well beaten whites of two eggs. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add a cupful of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, red and white pepper, grated onion, and mushroom essence. Take from the fire and add the yolks of three eggs beaten smooth with two tablespoons full of cream. Cool the sauce, and when cold, mix it with the fish. Fold in carefully one cupful of whipped cream, and fill a buttered mold with the fish. Put the mold in a pan of hot water, and bake in a moderate oven for half an hour. For the sauce, cook together for ten minutes a tablespoonful each of butter and flour, a teaspoonful each of chopped onion, salt, and sugar, and half a can of tomatoes. Rub through a sieve, 
and add the yolks of four eggs beaten smooth with a tablespoonful of cream and a grating of nutmeg. Take from the fire and add two tablespoonsful of butter in small bits. Return to the fire and add a little lemon juice or tarragon vinegar. Strain and add a little whipped cream. Salmon Steaks with Claret Sauce Put four steaks into a buttered saucepan with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to season. Add a bunch of parsley, a teaspoonful of mixed sweet herbs, a chopped onion, and two cupfuls of claret. Cover with a buttered paper, simmer until done, and drain. Strain the sauce. Thicken with flour cooked brown in butter, skim, add two tablespoons full of butter and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve. Salmon Mayonnaise with Cucumbers Steam salmon steaks until tender. Remove the skin and cool. Cover with thinly sliced cucumbers. Mask with mayonnaise and serve with a border of lettuce leaves and sliced hard-boiled eggs. Creamed Salmon on Toast Reheat a cupful of cold flaked salmon either fresh or canned, in cream sauce. Take from the fire, add one egg beaten smooth with half a cupful of cream, pour over buttered toast, and serve. Curried Salmon Chop a Spanish onion, fry it in butter, and add a tablespoonful of curry powder mixed with a teaspoonful of flour. Add two cupfuls of stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add cold cooked salmon, cut into small pieces, and reheat. Serve in a border of boiled rice. Chartreuse of Salmon Wash a cupful of rice in several waters. Drain and parboil for five minutes in salted water to a galloping boil. Drain it in a colander. Return to the saucepan. Add a pinch of salt and three cupfuls of milk or stock. Steam until tender. Then add three tablespoons full of melted butter and mix with one tablespoon full of curry powder and two tablespoons full of lemon juice. Mix thoroughly and line a two-quart buttered mold with the rice. Fill the center with flaked cooked salmon, seasoned with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Cover with rice, steam for half an hour, and serve with egg sauce. Fricassee of Salmon Cut two pounds of salmon steaks into strips. Put into a saucepan with half a cupful of water, salt and pepper to season, a clove, a blade of mace, a tablespoonful of sugar, a chopped onion, and a heaping teaspoonful of mustard mixed with a half a cupful of vinegar. Bring to the boil, add six tomatoes peeled and sliced, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, and a wine glass full of sherry. Simmer for 45 minutes and serve either hot or cold. Salmon with eggs. Steam salmon steaks until tender. Cool and lay upon a platter covered with lettuce leaves. Season with salt, pepper, and lemon juice, and surround with slices of hard-boiled eggs. Mix together a tablespoonful of melted butter, a teaspoonful of made mustard, and salt and pepper to season. Spread over the egg slices and serve. Jellied Salmon Recipe 1 Simmer salmon steaks in court bouillon until done. Drain and arrange on a platter. Spread with mayonnaise, tinted green with spinach juice, to which a little dissolved gelatine has been added. Serve cold. Jellied Salmon Recipe 2 Mix two cupfuls of cold-boiled salmon with one tablespoonful of lemon juice, one teaspoonful of minced parsley, two drops of Tabasco sauce, and one tablespoonful of granulated gelatine dissolved in cold water. Add it to half a cupful of cooked salad dressing. Wet in cold water one large mold or several small ones. Fill with the salmon and put on ice until thoroughly chilled. Serve with sliced cucumbers and tartar sauce. Salmon Pie Butter a baking dish and line the sides with a rich biscuit crust. Fill the pan with fresh or canned salmon seasoned with salt and pepper, lemon juice, a pinch of mace, and a teaspoonful of onion juice. Spread over the salmon a cupful of boiled lobster which has been seasoned with melted butter and Worcestershire sauce. Cover with biscuit crust, slice diagonally down the center, and bake for an hour in moderate oven. Cold Salmon Patties Season chopped salmon highly with salt and pepper, grated nutmeg, and melted butter. Add the beaten yolk of an egg to bind. Line patty tins with puff paste or rich pastry. Fill with the salmon mixture, cover with the paste, and bake. Pickled Salmon Recipe 1 Boil large fresh pieces of salmon in salted and acidulated water to cover. Bring to the boil one quart of vinegar, six blades of mace, half a dozen white peppers, half a dozen cloves, a teaspoonful of made mustard, two tablespoons full of sugar, and a cupful of water in which the fish was boiled. Let the fish cool in the water, then put it in an earthen jar. Pour the boiling liquid over and let stand for a day or two before using. Pickled Salmon Recipe 2 
Cut the fish into large pieces and cook until done in salted and acidulated water. Drain, cool, and skin. Put into a preserving kettle two quarts of vinegar, one cupful of boiling water, four blades of mace, two tablespoons full of sugar, a dozen cloves, two tablespoons full of mustard seed, an onion sliced, a dozen peppercorns, one small red pepper, two bay leaves, a teaspoonful of celery seed. Bring to the boil, put in the fish, boil up once and cool. Let stand for two or three days before using. Pickled Salmon Recipe 3 Boil large pieces of salmon in salted and acidulated water. Drain and cool. Add one quart of the water in which the fish was cooked, two quarts of vinegar, a tablespoonful of peppercorns, grated nutmeg, and a dozen blades of mace. Boil for half an hour and cool. Pour over the salmon, add a tablespoonful of olive oil, cover, and keep in a cool place for two or three days before using. Spiced Salmon Mix half a cupful of vinegar, the juice of half a lemon, two cloves, a bay leaf. Spiced Salmon Mix half a cupful of vinegar, the juice of half a lemon, two cloves, a bay leaf, an inch of stick cinnamon, a teaspoonful of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. Bring to the boil and pour over salmon steaks, which have been boiled, drained, and cooled. Let stand for two or three hours before serving. Salmon Souffle Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add one cupful of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add half a cupful of stale bread crumbs, a teaspoonful of grated onion, a tablespoonful of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, and the yolks of three eggs well beaten. Add one cupful of flaked salmon. Mix thoroughly and fold in the salmon and bake in a pan of hot water in a moderate oven for 45 minutes. Serve with any preferred sauce. Salmon on toast. Reheat two cupfuls of cold salmon steaks in a cupful of drawn butter sauce, seasoning with salt and red pepper. Take from the fire and add one egg beaten light with two tablespoons full of cream. Pour over slices of fried bread, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Salmon timbales. Flake a pound of cooked salmon and rub to a paste. Season with salt, pepper, and grated onion. Add a tablespoonful of chopped almonds and unbeaten whites of three eggs. Mix thoroughly and stir in one cupful of cream whipped solid. Put into small buttered molds, set into boiling water, and bake for 20 minutes. Turn out and serve with hollandaise sauce. Salmon Turbo Recipe 1 Cook together two tablespoons full of butter and three of flour. Add two cupfuls of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add two eggs well beaten, a teaspoonful of minced parsley, and the juice of half a lemon. Put into a baking pan alternate layers of the sauce and cold flaked salmon. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Salmon Turbo Recipe 2 Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour. Add two cupfuls of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire. Add two tablespoons full of butter and salt and pepper to season. Put a layer of flaked salmon into a buttered baking dish, spread with the sauce, and repeat until the dish is full, having crumbs and butter on top. Bake for half an hour. Salmon Box Line a square tin mold with hot boiled rice. Fill the center with cold boiled salmon flaked and seasoned with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Cover with rice, steam for an hour, turn out onto a platter, and serve with egg sauce. Salmon with Cucumber Sauce Put a large cut of salmon into a buttered saucepan with salt, pepper, a bunch of parsley, a chopped onion, and sweet herbs. Add half a cupful of white wine and enough stock to cover. Simmer until the fish is done and drain carefully. Strain the liquid and thicken with flour cooked in butter. Peel and slice three small cucumbers, parboil in salted water, drain, and fry in butter with a little sugar. Add to the sauce with a tablespoonful of butter and the juice of a lemon. Pour over the fish and serve. Salmon Croquettes Recipe 1 Cook together one tablespoonful of butter and two tablespoons full of flour. Add one cupful of cream and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add one egg well beaten and one pound of cold cooked salmon flaked. Let cool. Shape into croquettes, dip into egg and crumb, and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Salmon Croquettes Recipe 2 
Cook together one tablespoonful of butter and three tablespoonsful of flour. Add one cupful of cream and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, red pepper, and minced parsley. Take from the fire. Add the juice of a lemon and a can of flaked salmon. Mix thoroughly and cool. Shape into croquettes, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Salmon Croquettes Recipe 3 Cook together one tablespoonful of flour and two of butter. Add a cupful of cream or milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add an egg well beaten, half a cupful of crumbs, a small can of flaked salmon, and salt, red pepper, and powdered mace to season. Mix thoroughly. Cool, shape into croquettes, dip into an egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Salmon Croquettes Recipe 4 Cook together two tablespoons full each of butter and flour, and add one cupful of cream in which the yolks of two eggs have been beaten. Cook until very thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add a pound can of salmon, flaked, salt and pepper to season, and a teaspoonful of minced parsley. Stir in the beaten whites of the eggs and cool. Shape into croquettes, dip in egg and crumbs, fry in deep fat, and serve with tomato sauce. Salmon Croquettes Recipe 5 Cook together two tablespoons full of butter and one of flour. Add one cupful of milk and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a small can of flaked salmon, pepper and salt to season, and three eggs well beaten. Reheat, but do not boil. When it thickens, take from the fire and cool. When cold, shape into croquettes, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Salmon Croquettes Recipe 6 Cook together one tablespoonful of butter and two of flour. Add one cupful of milk and cook until very thick, stirring constantly. Season with salt, pepper, and celery salt. Add two cupfuls of canned salmon freed from the skin, fat, and bone, and chopped fine. Mix thoroughly and spread on a platter to cool. Shape into croquettes, dip in crumbs, then in beaten egg, then in crumbs, fry in deep fat, serve with green peas. Swedish Salmon Croquettes Cook one cupful of white stock with a tablespoonful of butter, the yolks of two eggs, and parsley, pepper, and salt, and grated onion to season. Add a can of flaked salmon and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Cool, shape into croquettes, dip in egg and crumbs, fry in deep fat, serve with tartar sauce. Salmon Cutlets Cook together one tablespoonful of butter and three of flour. Add one cupful of cream and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a can of salmon, chopped the juice of half a lemon, a tablespoonful of minced parsley, and salt and red pepper to season. Mix thoroughly and cool. Shape into cutlets, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Salmon Chops Prepare according to directions given for salmon croquettes. Shape into chops, dip into egg and crumbs, fry in deep fat, and serve with tartar sauce. Baked Salmon Loaf Recipe 1 Put a cupful of milk into a double boiler and add enough bread crumbs to make a smooth paste. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a can of salmon, chopped, half a cupful of cream, salt and red pepper to season, and three eggs beaten separately, folding in the stiffly beaten whites last. Mix thoroughly, pour into a buttered mold, set into a pan of hot water, and bake until firm in a moderate oven. Salmon Loaf Recipe 2 Mash a can of salmon, add the juice of a lemon, and half a cupful of fresh bread crumbs, three tablespoons full of minced parsley, four tablespoons full of melted butter, and four eggs beaten separately. Folding the stiffly beaten whites last. Put into a buttered mold and steam for an hour. Add to the oil drained from the salmon one cupful of boiling milk, one tablespoonful of corn starch rubbed smooth with a little cold milk, and a tablespoonful of butter. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Take from the fire, add one egg well beaten, a teaspoonful of tomato ketchup, and mace and pepper to season. Turn the mold out on a platter and pour the sauce around it. Salmon Loaf Recipe 3 Flake a can of salmon and mix it with the pounded yolks of two hard-boiled eggs, a tablespoonful of capers, and pepper, salt, mace, and parsley to season. Dissolve a teaspoonful of anchovy paste in a cup full of boiling water, add a tablespoonful of lemon juice and a tablespoonful of soaked gelatine. Heat until the gelatine is dissolved and mix with the fish. Butter a mold and arrange upon it the rings of the hard-boiled eggs. Put the fish into it and put on ice until perfectly cold and firm. Turn out on a platter and serve with mayonnaise. Salmon Loaf Recipe 4 Drain the oil from a can of salmon, remove skin, fat, and bone, and flake the fish with a silver fork. 
Add the yolks of four eggs well beaten, half a cupful of bread crumbs, four tablespoons full of melted butter, and pepper, salt, and minced parsley to season. Fold in the stiffly beaten whites of the eggs, put into a buttered pan, and bake for half an hour. Add to the drained oil one cupful of milk. Thicken it with a tablespoonful each of butter and flour cooked together. Take from the fire and add one egg well beaten. Fricasseed Salmon Reheat a can of flaked salmon in a cupful of drawn butter sauce, adding half a cupful of cream and salt, red and white pepper to season. Take from the fire, add one egg well beaten, pour over buttered toast, and sprinkle with parsley. Curried Salmon Recipe 1 Chop a small onion fine and fry in butter. Add to it the liquor drained from the can of salmon, a tablespoonful of flour, and when the flour is smooth, add half a cupful of water, a teaspoonful each of curry powder and lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. Add a can of salmon flaked, reheat, and serve. Curried Salmon Recipe 2 Fry a chopped onion in olive oil, and when the onion is brown, add a tablespoonful of flour mixed with a teaspoonful of curry powder. Add one cupful of boiling water and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Reheat flaked canned salmon in the sauce and serve with a garnish of sliced lemon. Curried Salmon Recipe 3 Fry a chopped onion brown in olive oil. Add two teaspoons full of curry powder and a tablespoonful of flour. When the flour is cooked, add two cupfuls of hot water and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a tablespoonful of tomato ketchup or chutney sauce and salt and pepper to season. Add a can of salmon flaked. Reheat and serve. Creamed Salmon Bring to the boil one cupful of cream and half a cupful of milk. Add a teaspoonful of butter and two teaspoonsful of cornstarch rubbed smooth with a little cold milk. Cook until thick, stirring constantly, and add one can of flaked salmon. Fill ramekins with the mixture, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Creamed Salmon on Toast Prepare the fish according to directions given for baked creamed salmon. Pour over slices of buttered toast, sprinkle with minced parsley, and served. Baked Cream Salmon Cook together two tablespoons full of butter and two of flour. Add two cupfuls of milk or cream and cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add salt, pepper, and minced parsley to season and a can of flaked salmon. Reheat and arrange in a baking dish with alternate layers of crumbs and butter, having crumbs and butter on top. Bake in the oven until brown. Salmon Patties Prepare creamed salmon according to the directions given in the recipe for baked creamed salmon. Fill patty shells and serve. A Scalloped Salmon Recipe 1 Prepared creamed salmon according to directions given for baked creamed salmon. Put into a buttered baking dish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. A Scalloped Salmon Recipe 2 Cook together two tablespoons full of butter and one of flour. Add a cupful of water, the juice of a lemon, a small onion chopped, the yolks of three boiled eggs mashed smooth, and pepper and salt to season. Cook until thick, stirring constantly. Add a can of flaked salmon, reheat, and serve. Coquille of Salmon Prepare creamed salmon according to directions given in the recipe for baked creamed salmon, seasoning with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Put into buttered shells or individual dishes with alternate layers of cooked mushrooms. Sprinkle with crumbs and grated cheese, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Deviled Salmon Prepare creamed salmon according to the directions given for baked creamed salmon, adding half a cupful of Worcestershire sauce and the juice of a lemon. Fill individual dishes or a large baking dish, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Banked Salmon Reheat a can of salmon in a cream sauce. Arrange on a platter and put around it a border of mashed potatoes. Sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Pressed Salmon Mix together two beaten eggs, a tablespoonful of butter, two cupfuls of bread crumbs, a can of salmon, flaked, and salt and pepper to season. Turn into a buttered mold, steam for half an hour, and serve cold with mayonnaise or tartar sauce. Molded Salmon Free a pint can of salmon from fat, skin, and bone, and flake the fish with a silver fork. Add salt and pepper to season, half a cupful of cracker crumbs, two tablespoons full of butter melted, and three eggs beaten separately. Mix thoroughly. Put into a buttered mold and steam for an hour. Serve with drawn butter sauce to which chopped olives and capers have been added. Salmon and Green Peppers Prepared creamed salmon according to the directions given for baked creamed salmon. Cut slices from the tops of sweet green peppers and remove the seeds and fiber. Fill with the prepared salmon, sprinkle with crumbs, dot with butter, and put into a pan of hot water and bake for 20 or 30 minutes. Salmon in Casserole 
Chop a large onion and fry it in butter. Add a cupful of bread crumbs and one and one-half cupfuls of milk. Bring to the boil, add salt and pepper to season, a flaked can of salmon, and two eggs well beaten. Pour into a buttered casserole, dot with butter, and bake brown. Sprinkle with minced parsley and serve. Broiled Smoked Salmon Recipe 1 Soak for 12 hours, change in the water three times. Drain, wipe dry, dip in olive oil and vinegar, and broil. Serve with a garnish of lemon and parsley. Broiled Smoked Salmon Recipe 2 Cut into narrow strips, parboil for 10 minutes, drain, cover with cold water, let stand for 15 minutes, wipe dry, and broil. Season with red pepper and lemon juice and serve with buttered toast. Broiled Smoked Salmon Recipe 3 Cut smoked salmon into strips and broil carefully. Pour over it melted butter and lemon juice, sprinkle with minced parsley, and serve. Broiled Smoked Salmon Recipe 4 Par boil slices of smoked salmon for 20 minutes. Drain, cool, rub with flour, broil carefully, and serve with any preferred sauce. Broiled smoked salmon recipe 5. Wash thoroughly and soak salmon for a few hours as it is very salty. Cover with warm water, simmer for 15 or 20 minutes, drain, wipe dry, rub with butter, and broil. Broiled salmon a la maitre d'hotel. Soak the smoked salmon for an hour in cold water, then drain and wipe dry. Brush with melted butter and broil carefully. Serve with maitre d'hotel sauce. Smoked Salmon Cut it into thin slices, warm it up in a little olive oil, strain the oil when it is warmed, add to it lemon juice and minced parsley, pour over the fish, and serve. Broiled Kippered Salmon Cut the salmon into strips. Wrap in buttered paper and broil carefully over a clear fire. Remove the paper and serve. Fried Kippered Salmon Soak slices of kippered salmon in olive oil for several hours. Drain off the oil and fry the salmon slices in it. Serve with melted butter and lemon juice. Broiled Salt Salmon Soak the fish for 36 hours in cold water, changing the water often. Drain, wipe dry, rub with melted butter, broil, and serve with egg sauce. Boiled Salt Salmon Soak the fish overnight. Drain, rinse, and simmer for 15 or 20 minutes. Season with pepper and butter and garnish with parsley. Pickled Salt Salmon Prepare according to directions given for pickled salmon, soaking the salt fish for 12 hours before cooking. Salt Salmon and Papillos Cut the fish into strips Soak for an hour in cold water, drain, and dry. Season with pepper and wrap each piece in tough, well-buttered paper, twisting the ends. Broil carefully over clear coals, unwrap, and serve with any preferred sauce. P.S. This is an insignificant fraction of what we really know about salmon. We are saving the rest for a piscatorial encyclopedia. End of section 28